Welcome to Fiber Watch. I'm Chimtai Kirui. On our today's episode, we are going to look at SD1, which is a software defined networking in a wide area network, which is a technology that simplifies the management and operation of a one by decoupling the networking hardware from its control mechanism. Software Defined Networking or SDN concept was introduced in 2011 to deliver increased agility, flexibility, operational efficiency and choice to data networking. In order to understand in details what SD1 is, I sat down with JTL's product manager Kenneth Wamunyu to learn more of this technology. SD1 is primarily meant for businesses and for that matter for businesses with branch locations, mostly because it reduces the complexity of the network in terms of design, because now with SD1, you'd have all the controls and the configurations set up in one central location, which is in the cloud. So what we have now is a traditional one, which is traditional wide area networks. And the difference between that and SD1 is, for example, if you are to configure routing policies, you would have to configure routing policies in each branch for your enterprise. It is a manual process and it is cumbersome and error prone. If you wanted dedicated connections between your branches that are secured, you would probably use a technology called MPLS, which for most providers is charged a bit higher than access to the internet. Since an SD1 endpoint can use the internet and still secure the traffic in between branches and the HQ and the controller in the cloud, it will bring a bit of savings to an organization because now instead of paying for the dedicated connections, you'd end up paying for internet connection per branch and this might result in uh, savings based on depending on the size of your organization. SD1 offers uh, the analytics capability so because it is constantly monitoring the multiple connections that you may have the IT admin doesn't need to monitor the connections manually you can just log into uh, the SD1 controller and you can see the state of your links, all your links to all your branches, because the, the analytics is, it's something that comes with SD1. Because an SD1 uh, gateway or endpoint has the ability to have an MPLS connection, an LTE connection and a broadband connection. And this ensures that there's business continuity in case one of the links fails. So for example, if you are on a call and there's a fiber cut from your provider, SD1 will out automatically hand over the traffic from your voice call to the LTE uh, connection and your call will not be interrupted. So this will help in business continuity. So by having an all-in-one box, the attack surface is reduced. By attack surface, we mean the points of vulnerability where you can have security breaches. And uh, SD1 offers visibility without additional monitoring tools. SD1 also offers uh, content filtering out of the box, which will help uh, industries comply with security policies because you are able to actually configure the security policies directly on the SD1 endpoints for the branch or for your organization according to your, to your policy. What I've learned from Mr. Wamunyu is that the SD1 is a software designed approach to managing wide area networks as the words transition from hardware to software via cloud-based technology. That's all we had for you. We are on Fiber Watch. My name is Chimtai Kirui. I'll see you on the next episode.